look how thick that ponderosa pine bark is i mean that's that's three inches thick right there alone that's why i like the the tree gaffs the long ones not the short ones for this kind of got a fair bit of work to do before i can leave and i have that long thanksgiving day drive ahead of me Ooh, that's not good look at that watch for stuff like that that was all kind of crook crooked and cocked sideways and felled yeah i want to be in a hurry and like bang this out and get out of here and i probably there it goes again it like that um, but I kind of need to focus don't I and not get rushed it's like one of those things do what's right in front of you and then move on sufficient for the day is its own trouble no sense worrying about later trouble aka six hour drive in holiday traffic i'm just gonna march up there set the speed line and the uh climb line so i don't have uh, saw with me. I'll just pick it up later since I'm gonna be back at the bottom later anyway. I like to turn the carabiner this way so that I can more easily look down and, and inspect the gate while I'm working. Boom boom. If it's away from you then you're just making it harder to double check your connectivity to things. All right, I'm gonna unplug from you, YouTube. Right now, I'll check in with you later, unless something comes up that I feel like talking about. So after a long, arduous climb through the limbs, I'm getting up to where I want to set up my gear. And a couple of things occurred to me as I was coming up here. This could be a good speed line video like why and how type of video for those aspiring or already quite aspired arboristy type dudes that want to have less hassle with a limb after they cut it more hands free and uh, less uh, dealing with forcing it where you need it to go all by virtue of your little army muscles. Tie it in twice and unhook this one. So right next to the fence. You'll see some of those are five, six inch diameter limbs. They look different. When you're looking at them from the ground you think, oh, I'll just go up there. Superman and done. Then you get there and you're, you're like, dang, this is pretty big. And then a, a thing turns into an underbid thing. So you kind of are wishing you had somebody else doing the bid, somebody that was not so confident in the bank sales. So the speed line, so I got all this set up, okay? I'm getting all set up, it's like a pain. The old school guy would be just like, start cutting that up, you know, start from the bottom, but you wait. This one little climb up to the top for setting my gear is going to be quite nice in a minute when we're just slaying fatty limbs and they're floating down into the, into the sweet spot. 
without us worrying about whether they're gonna drop on the fence or I mean it's gonna be smooth and fast it's kind of like the old adage about sharpen the saw rather than just going straight to work with the old saw I choked the, the speed line to the tree right here this here was just what I used give myself a little mechanical advantage to pull the um, rope up with. It's kind of a long, long way. And now we'll go down and I got a little oak tree at the bottom to cut down that's in our way. And um, then we'll start slinging them up. This is the unglamorous part where everything is trying to velcro onto you and ruin your smooth progress. That's what the uh, speed line envelope is good for, is keeping your slings from getting all caught up on stuff. But since I'm going to be working from the bottom today, I don't really need to need the envelope. I can use the Molly version. Touch base with you in a minute. Check in soon. All right. Okay, YouTube, something to point out. So this is a tall dang tree. I underestimated it monetarily and otherwise. I always think I can just tear a tree apart with my bare hands and drive away laughing to the bank. But anyway, my 200 foot rope is too short. So I'm putting a knot in the end of it because I got to do some stuff to this oak tree. And, um, Hey, uh, Max, well, can you put my saw on the speed line since my rope ain't on the ground? First blood, no speed line, I'm just gonna hang this up. Okay. Hopefully those dogs don't. You might want to let him know. It's or maybe they'll be smart enough to... <laughs> Gotta start right away making this thing look like a J-log. As much as possible. things off. First one, it's manpower, he's going to hold on to the rope. It's going to be a little heavy, but it, he'll be strong enough to keep it from hitting the fence, I think. Kind of give it a yard backwards with it when it comes off. Yeah, yeah, dude. Launched it. So this next one would 
I could get it to clear the fence without setting it up, but if I do set it up, then it moves it out there and it turns the butts toward the the way we like. So speed line is even gonna help on the limbs on this side. Had to be kind of skilly on getting my saw out of there. Another kind of husky limb here. See, YouTube, if you're watching, I'll do a run of film where it's totally real time with no cuts, and I'll show you how fast the tree starts to disappear with this kind of rigging. The little things can really hang your rigging up later if you don't get rid of them as you go. Young climbers are often scared to stand on spurs. They don't like great fields and so they think they need limbs everywhere. And they end up with these medieval weapon looking trees with porcupine spikes all over them but that stuff fouls up a lot of stuff and you can swing into it and puncture your spleen or whatever whatever part you didn't want to puncture That one was light and half dead, so I didn't zip it. This next one is pretty beefy, so I'll put a sling on it. Like, it'd be way easier to just sling this and let him zip it out than it would be to hang it and then try to hold on to it and use your twisting body methods to... You ready? See, it's just right in there. It's way away from the fence. It was easy for both of us. And all it took was me to climb to the top of the tree first and, and rig this thing for later. And um, I know it sounds like I'm arguing with an invisible person, but the thing is, I've had a lot of like, pros like the, ex the experience type pro guy that's done a lot of work the same way every time tell me that speed lining was stupid and a waste of time <laughs> I'm like man you guys were doing it wrong the type of guys that do they say they got 30 years experience, but really they got one year 30 times. All right, got another one on for you. Okay.
the rope to August the Beast. Okay, so we're gonna do a little real time, like five, 10 minutes. I don't know how long it'll be, but it'll be about 18 feet of trunk or so. Let's see, six. Yeah, like 18 feet of trunk and we'll see how long it takes real time with all the little hangups and everything to uh, strip out this tree. I mean, look at some of these limbs. I mean, you're not manhandling that, okay? But watch how fast that comes off with uh, speed line rigging from monkeybeaver.com, by the way. All right, good. So start the timer. I'm talking to myself, by the way. We'll start the timer now. There's my first little annoying hang up. And um, I'll set some slings as I go down. Just girth hitching. I'm not like in some kind of frenzy pace, but look how smooth it is. Not like that. See all the little things that I have to do to deal with it. To deal with all the little things that occur. And notice how, like, I believe in shaving seconds off the day wherever I can. That's what the kit is about. So, well, I can cut that one without a sling. And that one. So when I reach for uh, a sling, all the carabiners are oriented the same way every time. Okay, so muscle memory is allowed to do its magic that way. Because muscle memory is, is really how I accomplish about everything. Because I'm kind of an airhead, like I forgot to hook these up. that one in a bit. I mean, I, I've been showing up to work for years and it's not me that does the work, it's my body that somehow figures it out. I'll just cut this one off now, it's in my way. All snagged up.
If you noticed from up there, but my climbing rope got tangled in it. Not that cool. inconvenience when I was climbing up through here to get to uh, set up my stuff is nullified now you can see how much mobility I have to just go 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 I got in a hurry there, you see? You can tangle up your own rigging in the uh, in the speed line rigging.
got my rope tangled in it again. All totally real world. <laughs> All the glamour gone. Coming up on the end of our allotment here. Okay, this next limb is quite large. I think you, you can handle it from there though. Because so, it's so high. Stealing some from the next section. Here we go. Yeah, see that? Kind of heavy, huh? Yeah. Oh. Well, that's the end of our that's the end of our scheduled run. That should give you an idea of uh speed lining and you know that it can be kind of speedy that's a lot of material that is gone you know right by the neighbors right over the fence pretty husky stuff okay YouTube I hope you enjoyed that very candid uh, work session Oh, I can do this one by hand. Set this over here. in mind it's, it's just me and Maxwell down there too it's like sure we'll have a mess but for right now it's two guys getting it done I don't need them yet I might have enough slings to finish <laughs> Maxwell was asking me if I wanted more slings because he's got a bunch no, I might as well just give you some real-time helmet cam view while I'm at it. Girth hitch. Girth hitch. Foible, foible. Reach, reach. Connect. Reach down. All of them are always the same. Gaff out a little bit for the camera. When you're new to climbing, you feel that gaff out and it's like your heart drops. But when you're all right, been around the block a bit, it's, it doesn't even make you pause. All right, here we go. This one's kind of burly. I'll let you unhook that one. <laughs> yeah. I mean, when they come from way high and they're heavy, they just look like they're on a one-way wrecking ball trip straight down. And then at the last second, they're like, psych! Yeah. One more. I'll wait. I'll wait. It's nice to let them unhook them. If you can pause your hero status long enough, because you just want to cut, 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 and you let them unhook them, then it's it's 
better for them. Here we go. <laughs> I'll crash something into it, just leave it there. So that's a good example, since this is a classroom, that tree sticking out, it's not a removal. We, we're allowed to brush past it. He said we can even cut a big limb off, but I don't want to because I don't want more cleanup. But you can be aware of your sway pattern. I'll show you what I mean. When you're cutting stuff off from here, if you cut it off and you and you when it starts to apex out this way and you cut it off well then it swings toward the thing and hangs up like that one did if i would have cut it off let it hang and settle down and then done it it wouldn't have done that these over here i'll be able to swing out that way and the sway pattern will go out away from those watch watch this there's one and these two will, should knock that other one loose, I hope. Gotta cut a few little ones. So I'm gonna swing this under, then cut it off, and it'll go out like this. And so when it gets down there, it'll go past that, watch. See it? See how it... All right, we're gonna hit it again. Bam! Get out of there. Oh, we got it. We got it. So if I was being hasty, I knew it was an issue. I thought it'll probably blast through. It didn't. So keep an eye on your side to side sway pattern. It, you can affect it with how you cut the piece. All of you plumbers and electricians and little old ladies, when you get up there, you remember this. I love my little old ladies. I got a bunch of them that watch my channel. See, these ones would sway the wrong way. So I'll show you how to not have these swing into that ash tree and hang up. Ready? Okay, I'll wait. I'm gonna turn you off for a minute, YouTube. <laughs> Max just saved you, YouTube. I started yakking without the, turning the camera back on. So to keep, to keep these from swinging out like this and hanging in that tree, I'm gonna peel them down, hang them up, and then cut them off. Let me get this out of your view. Yeah, I just started talking and then Max was like, did you turn your camera back on? <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> See, rather than cutting it fast, swinging it over there and then cutting it off right when it was, had the inertia toward the ash, I hung it up. I'm gonna bump my flip line a little bit, it'll be okay, watch. See, now it'll go right past. Boom. And the next one. See, even though they're over here, they're, they're not swaying that way. I could make them do that. Like, I'm, I'm talking about this because sometimes you'll have two buildings you'll be going through. No. You got two buildings. You, you want them to swing straight through and not be whipping side to side. I got a video. It's an old video. Where we're, I don't remember what it's called, but we're speed lining really big wood, like huge wood, like, you know, 800 pound logs. And uh, I had to, I had to make them sway right. Okay. Do a lot of talking today, YouTube. Oh, 
don't want to do that. So here's a little opportunity for me to get hung up if I hook this on the wrong side. So when you come to a place like that, then then I don't want to cut it here yet. I'll cut it here, swing it that way, cut it off. Then I'm going to have to make another little cut right there. Oh, and there goes a massive load of brush. All right, I'll wait. <laughs> These will swing around like this. I'll have to hang these up. And make sure your flip line isn't over your speed line. All right. Nice having that skid steer and grapple. All the brush is almost, almost every bit of the brush is out of there in just a couple minutes. All right. Might have to pull on this pretty hard, okay? Because it might want to slide down the trunk. See what I mean? <laughs> it was wanting to pull you because it wouldn't swing around. I'll swing this one around and hopefully it'll sway pattern back the right way. I'll wait for you. Okay, here we go. Get around there. There you go. No extra charge. No extra charge on the free ash pruning. YouTube. I was thinking lately about doing a little class for all the young guys that want their own channels. like a how to shoot and edit video class but if I do I'll have to have a subscription for it because It'll actually be a lot of work. It won't just be me playing around with my GoPro in a tree like I am today. I've given everything away for free. My whole YouTube channel career. I never like charged. Uh, I got, I'll put another one on. Anyway, tell, let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in subscribing for like five bucks a month or something. I don't know. And then, I like do a whole series and then I'm, I'm working for you so I'm getting paid a little bit. It might be enough incentive for me to do it. I've thought about doing it for a long time. Okay, I'll give you two. Yeah, I mean, I can teach people how to how to edit video, how to collect video, and how to um, store it properly, how to make your 
your day pretty smooth and not spend too much time. A lot of people give up on filming their work because there's a learning curve. It takes a while. You know what? I'll take these both at the same time. It takes a while to, to learn all the little tricks for not having it take so long that you give up anyway I can show things and tell you what to get what to edit with how to edit from simple to advanced Gotta hang this one. <laughs> All right, I'll bomb it. And one more. that clear it? Alright, I'm gonna give you one. I'll let you take it off and I'll give you another one. They win. This one's kind of heavy. two kind of small ones. Either that or just tell Amy to... Well, believe it or not, YouTube, this one little limb... It's like the first one. First one that I've really... manhandled and I didn't enjoy it. I'm gonna cut a little one here. It's, yeah, it's twin top. So, is, is Damien up? He's ready. Yeah, I gotta go back. 
going to hit record on yours to see if it works. Slack. All right. So my camera's on it. So when you get the camera back, just let me know if it's blinking, okay? Wave hello to the camera. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that ride, YouTube. So YouTube, Damien crashed my my drone. Cost more than this whole job. Let's see here. I'm not gonna give him a hard time though, because he'll he'll punish himself worse than I ever did. you heard me what I was saying is the openness of the notch is how you control the rotation when you are not cutting one-fifth of the height of the tree you got to mess with the notch openness in order to get your rotation if I would have not made that second cut it would have endowed and I didn't want to stop and make another cut but 
I do like them flat if possible, so it's I did. It's got the gimbal camera, right? Yeah, it's awesome. Like 4K or is it like... Yeah. All right. For 5.6. Who makes it? DJI. CJI. DJI. Oh, DJI. It's... I want to get a cheapy one for the dogs to chase. Just a little little guy from Walmart. Cool. <laughs> Driving crazy. Well, I got one. It's cheap now. <laughs> it, it actually hurt you if you touched it. Were you still under warranty on that? It'll you could probably send it. No, nah, I've had it for a few, probably three or three yeah, years. You can have this one, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> but as is, as is. But I have my own damage here. Look. Was that snap that? I broke it. Huh. Yeah, look at that. Tell hey, me how to fix I'm that. Not, well. No, I'll have to just get a new handle through that company, whoever it is. No worries. I didn't break that. Sorry about the sawdust. The sawdust? Hey, probably the fell the right where it's supposed to be.